Well, this is Robbie Sher, who has won our third prize in the 2018 TAR competition with a, a, a poem called A Secret No Longer. And Robbie, you're going to read this in a moment. But could I just start by asking you that really difficult question for any poet? What made you think of this as a subject and, and this poem as a way of approaching that subject? Um, so when I originally wrote this poem, it, it wasn't really, it wasn't called A Secret No Longer. Mm -hmm. I did it before I heard about the TAR competition. Um, and I um, was doing work experience in obstetrics and gynaecology at Nina Hospital. Um, so I was thinking of becoming a doctor, which I now have decided not to do. <laughs> but I, um, I was, they kind of didn't know what to do with me. So they kind of said, oh, go and watch some cesarean sections. I had to watch like five. Um, and so like women after women came in and they just had the cesarean sections. And I was taking notes, but then I kind of like ran out of things to write mm -hmm. in my notes. So I started writing sort of, they kind of turned into bits of poems and that became this, yes. um, which then got cut down and edited and everything, and then I changed the title and everything like that. But it did originally just come from me watching a cesarean section and just okay. literally just writing um, what I saw. Yeah, so. it's a very impressive poem. I know a lot of people, including myself, have felt that. Very mysterious. Despite all you say, it's still quite a mysterious poem yeah. at the end. Yeah. It's got an extraordinarily uh, effective ending. Yeah, I, I didn't actually mean it to sort of, I know that to a reader it kind of almost gives like a connotation of death at the end. Um, that didn't actually, that wasn't really intended, no. Um, no. but I kind of, I realised it and I kind of liked it in a way. Yes. Um, yeah, I feel like it's quite sinister. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, well what I'd love for you to do, if you feel you can mm -hmm. for us, is to read the poem. Sure. Uh, partly because... I think hearing it gives it an extra dimension. Sure. So, um, over to you. <laughs> a secret no longer. Now, a canvas of skin, lathered in orange foam. They bend her back in a wide arc. This to spread out your ribs. And I think of moth wings, eyelids, legs. Things that open as though to reveal us, but cannot. See how easy it is to push that first needle into her, swallow then out to be replaced by larger tubes. Puncture, reflush, aspirate. A stomach slit, easy as tongues through fresh water. Soon they will haul out the body. It will be grey blue and alive. Thank you. Thank you.